Hello everyone, welcome back to Pavli. So in this video, we are going to understand how to automatically create Jira issues from Microsoft Outlook. So I manage a software company and I receive new mails from my clients on my Outlook email account. So here in this case, I want whenever I receive a new issue mail on my Outlook account, then automatically a new issue for that should be created in my Jira software for that email. So here to build this connection, I need to connect these applications using an automation software named as Pavli Connect. So to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to understand how to automatically create Jira issues from Microsoft Outlook. So as I've already mentioned in my introduction that I'm managing a software company and I'm using Microsoft Outlook for all my email communications. So often I receive emails with a bug reports or some issues that need to be addressed in our Jira system. So here instead of manually creating new Jira issues from these emails, I'm going to set up an automation to handle this for me. So here to build this automation, I need to integrate my Microsoft Office account with my Jira account and this integration will automatically create a new Jira issue with all the details from the email. This way I don't have to switch between Outlook and Jira or enter information manually. It saves me time, ensures that no important issues are missed and helps me keep our software organized and on track. So here to build this connection, I'm going to use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly. You can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens. It's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff. Plus, it keeps everything organized and error-free so you can focus on growing your business hustle-free. So, this is the homepage of Pabli Connect and you can visit this page by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user so I'm clicking on sign in. Now after signing in here you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to integrate my applications I am going to use Pabli Connect. Now this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection I need to create a workflow first. So for that I am going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. Now here in this create workflow dialog box, I have to give a name to my workflows. So here I'm going to give the name as automatically create Jira issues from Microsoft Outlook. And here I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select your folder as per your need. Also you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now here to learn how to create a new folder in Pabli Connect, you have to click on this learn more link given over here. And by clicking on this, it will take you to a forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder in Pabli Connect. So now moving back to my Pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create button given over here. Now here in this workflow window, you can see we have successfully created a new workflow and here on my screen, you can see the two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as Microsoft Office 365. So Microsoft Office 365 is a subscription service that gives you access to a suite of tools like Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Outlook all available online. It's like having all your essential office software in one package plus cloud storage to save and access your files from anywhere. People use Microsoft 365 because it makes working from different devices and locations easy. It also includes collaboration features so you can work on documents with others in real time. Whether you are handling documents, managing emails or collaborating with a team, Microsoft 365 provides the tools you need to stay productive. So here in my Microsoft Office 365 trigger step, I'm going to select my trigger event as new mail. So that whenever we are going to receive a new mail on our Outlook email, then automatically Public Connect is going to capture a response. 
And now you have to connect my Microsoft Office 365 with Public Connect. Here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your Microsoft Office 365 account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, I'm going to click on this connect with Microsoft Office 365. And here you can see Pabli is asking for access to my Outlook account. So here I'm going to click on this accept button given over here and give access to Pabli as your data is secured with Pabli. Authorization successful. So here you can see we are now successfully connected. So now here after building a successful connection, what we are going to do is that we are going to send a new mail on our Outlook email from a different mail ID. So for that, let me take you to my Gmail account. And here I'm going to draft a mail and send it on my Outlook mail account. So here you can see the mail which I have drafted where I've entered this recipient email as my Outlook email. And here for the subject, I have entered the subject as website accessing issue. And here in the email body, I have entered hello ABC team we are facing an issue in accessing your website please connect with us as soon as possible thanks and regards tef software so this is the mail which i'm going to send on my outlook email so for that i'm going to click on the send button given over here and here you can see it says message sent so now let's go back to our pavli's workflow and now here after sending a new mail to our outlook email what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click on the save and send test request given over here and here you can see we have successfully received a response over here where we have received the subject as website accessing issue scrolling little down. Also we have received some other details and here we have received the mail body in a body preview field which says hello ABC team we are facing an issue in accessing your website. Please connect with us as soon as possible. Thanks and regards TEF software. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger. But here let me tell you that Microsoft Office 365 is a pooling based application. That means it will look for the new responses in every 10 minutes. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger step over here. Now let's move to action step and here before selecting my action application, let me tell you that I only want to create new Jira issues for the mails which contains an issue or a problem statement. So to specify my condition and filter my condition as per the mail received, I need to use a feature by Pabli that is filter by Pabli. So here in this action step, I'm going to use a feature by Pabli that is filter by Pabli. So by using filter by Pabli, I'm going to filter the mails which I'm going to receive on my Outlook email. And after filtering that specific mails, I'm going to create a new Jira issues for the mails which describes some issues. So for that here in this action step, I'm going to select my action event as filter values. And then I'm going to click on this connect given over here. And here you can see after building a successful connection, here it is asking me to enter a condition where it is asking me to select a label, select the filter type and to enter a value. So here in this select label, I need to select the label through which I want to filter this mail. So for that, I'm going to click on the response we have received in our trigger step. And from here, I'm going to select the mail subject as the filter label because I want to filter this condition based on the mail subject I'm going to receive. And here in this filter type, I'm going to select my filter type as contains. But you can select the filter type as equal to, does not equal to, does not contain, exists, does not exist, is empty, is not empty or some other filter types also. But here I'm going to select my filter type as contains. And now here after selecting this filter type, here it is asking me to enter the value. So here I'm going to enter the value as issue. So that whenever a mail is going to contain the subject as issue, then automatically this condition is going to be surpassed. And after that, automatically a new issue is going to be created in my Jira software. So here I've successfully entered a condition over here and here I've entered a single condition because I want to filter my mails based on a single condition. But if you want to add multiple conditions, then you can click on this and condition button given over here and add multiple conditions in your workflow. And also you can add some or conditions by clicking on this or condition button given over here. And now here after entering my condition, I'm going to click on the save and send test request given over here. And here you can see we have received a successful response where the status is success and the message is condition is true. That means we have successfully set up this action step as well. Now let's move to another action step by clicking on this add action step button given over here. And now here in this action step, I'm going to select my action application as Jira software. 
So Jira software is a project management tool designed for teams to plan, track and manage their work, especially in software development. It helps teams organize tasks, track progress and collaborate more effectively. People use Jira because it's flexible and customizable, making it easy to manage everything from small projects to large complex workflows. It's especially popular among development teams for managing agile projects, tracking bugs and ensuring everyone stays on the same page throughout the project. So here in my Jira software action step, I'm going to select my action event as creator issue so that whenever I'm going to receive a new mail on my Outlook email, then automatically using filter by Pabli, my mail is going to be filtered and after surpassing this condition, automatically a new issue is going to be created in my Jira software for that mail. And now here to connect my Jira software with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. Again here to build a new connection, I'm going to select add new connection. If your Jira software account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, I'm going to click on this connect with Jira software. And here you can see Pabli is requesting for the access to my account. So here I'm going to click on this accept and give access to Pabli as your data is secured with Pabli. And authorization successful. And here you can see we are now successfully connected. So moving forward. And then here it is asking me to select the project. So here to select this project, I'm going to click on this drop down arrow given over here. And from here, you can see both the projects which I've created in my Jira software. So here in this case, I'm going to use my project which is named as Connect App. So here I'm going to select it, moving forward. And then here it is asking me to enter the parent key. So here it is not a required field. So here I'm going to leave it blank. But if you want to add any parent key, then you can add it as per your need. Now moving forward. And then here it is asking me to select the issue type. So for that, again, I'm going to click on this drop down menu and here you can see all the issue type we can select. So here in this case, I'm going to select my issue type as task moving forward and then here it is asking me to enter the summary. So basically here I need to enter the summary for the issue which I'm going to create. So here instead of entering the summary manually, here I'm going to map the data. Mapping data means insert data from previous step. That means here I'm going to map the data from the response I've received in my trigger step. Mapping makes our text dynamic so that whenever we are going to receive a new issue mail on an Outlook email, then automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one. So here in the summary field, I'm going to map the summary as the subject which I have received in my mail. So this is the subject. So here I'm going to map it. Scrolling little down and then here it is asking me for the description. So here in this description field, I'm going to map the description as the mail body which I have received in my trigger step. So this is my mail body. So here I'm going to map it. Scrolling little down and then here for the priority, I'm going to select the priority as highest. And again, this labels is not a required field. So here I'm going to leave it blank. And here for the assignee ID, I'm going to select the assignee as admin row. Scrolling little down. Again, this reporter ID, due date and some other fields are not a required field. So here I'm going to leave them blank. But if you want to add any other detail, then you can do it as per your need. And now here after entering all the required data, I'm going to click on the save and send test request given over here. And here you can see we have received a successful response. That means we have successfully created a new issue in our Jira software. So now let's go and check it. And I'm going to refresh it. And here you can see we have successfully created a new issue over here with the summary as website accessing issue and the issue description similar as the mail body which we have received. So with this, we have successfully set up our automation. Now let's test our automation with a real time example to check whether it is working or not. So to test our automation, we need to send a new mail to our Outlook email with a different Gmail account. And for that, let me take you back to my Gmail account. And again here, I'm going to draft a mail and send it on my Outlook mail account. So here you can see the mail which I have drafted where I've entered the subject as subscription purchase issue and here you can see the mail body which says hello ABC team we are facing an issue in buying a subscription of your software please connect with us as soon as possible thanks and regards XYZ company. So this is the mail which I'm going to send to my Outlook email and now here to send this mail I'm going to click on the send button given over here. So here you can see message sent so now let's go and check our Jira software. Here I'm going to refresh it. 
and here you can see after refreshing also we haven't received a new issue in our jira software because here i've already told you that microsoft office 365 is a pooling based application that means it will look for the new responses in every 10 minutes so here we have to wait for some time so now it's been some time so now firstly let's go and check our outlook email account and here you can see we have successfully received a new mail over here with the email subject as subscription purchase issue and the mail says hello abc team we are facing an issue in buying a subscription of your software please connect with us as soon as possible thanks in regards xyz company so now let's go and check our jira software and i'm going to refresh it And here you can see we have successfully created a new issue in our Jira software with the summary as subscription purchase issue and the same issue description. So with this we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as Microsoft Office 365 and our action as filter by Pabli and Jira software, so that whenever we are going to receive a new mail on our Outlook email, then automatically using filter by Pabli, that mail is going to be filtered as per the subject received. And if it surpasses this condition, then automatically a new issue is going to be created in our Jira software for that mail. Now, if you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can contact us on support at zaridpabli.com. If you have any query, you can contact us on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can contact us on www.pabli.com. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.